Hey guys, okay, so this video, um, as you can tell by the title, um, is Metallica or Megadeth. Now, the reason this is both up there is because I love both bands, um, <clears throat> but I happen to think Metallica is the better band. But, I mean, I love both the bands. Um, lately, people, uh, well, like, I wouldn't say, like, all Megadeth fans are like this, because they're not. I mean, I know Megadeth fans who, like, love Metallica. It's just, I call them ignorant Megadeth fans, and those are the ones that say, <clears throat> basically, Metallica sucks, they sold out, um, they're a bunch of pussies now, they're a bunch of fags. Um, no, no they're not. Um, Metallica did not sell out because selling out, what selling out is, is when you, uh, was when you start writing for the record company <clears throat> and give them what they want instead of writing for yourself. Metallica has always been a band who wrote for themselves, did what they wanted, chose what style of music they wanted to play. They may not have stuck with thrash or metal in general <clears throat> throughout their career, but they recently came back to thrash. Death Magnetic is a great example. Um, <clears throat> um, lots of people respect Metallica despite their mistakes. I mean, look at Megadeth. They explore different uh, different uh, speeds and tempos and stuff. Look at Risk. Risk, Megadeth is Risk is like Metallica's Load album. <clears throat> it's really shitty. <clears throat> Metallica did not make records everyone liked, but so did many other bands. Many other bands go off and and they go experiment with different tempos and different styles of music. Look at Slayer, for instance, Diabolus Musica, they made a new metal album. <clears throat> now, you're going to tell me that Slayer sold out? No, no, they did not. Just because they made one record that was new metal does not mean Slayer sold out. Same goes for Metallica. Just because they made a different record from what they started out doing does not mean they sold out. Yes, they cut their hair. But, <clears throat> I mean... <clears throat> Kerry King is bald. <laughs> you think he'd kill for his long hair back? Hell yeah, he would. Um, I know, I know, I know he couldn't help that he was going bald. Neither could Scott Ian. But the point is, you don't have to have long hair to be metal, okay? <clears throat> um, yes, everyone was pissed when they cut their hair, but still, I mean, you don't need hair to be metal. You don't need the long hair. I've s I know many metalheads who have short hair, and are still as I mean they're hard, more hardcore than I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just because Metallica straight off from what they started out doing does not mean they sold out. Okay, selling out is what like I said before is when you write for the record company and not for yourself anymore. That's what selling out is. <clears throat> They may, they did not even change their image in the slightest except for cutting their hair. They still wore their the black shirts and pants and the black shoes like they were wearing back in Seattle 89. I mean, he'd still wear cut off shirts. Uh, you know, he even now, I mean, he's recently he's gone back to like his roots. He's wearing a vest now with pat filled with patch. James is wearing a vest filled with patches. He's wearing his bullet belt cut off shirts now. Uh, Kirk Hammett grew his hair back, so I don't even know why you guys are complaining anyway. Now, just because Jam now just because James is not on stage drunk anymore, and basically like cussing you out, does not mean that they have lost their edge. Okay. Um, Megadeth, Dave Mustaine is a Christian now. Okay. I mean. Dave Mustaine, a Christian. I mean, uh, Megadeth. Some Megadeth fans were kind of pissed off that he became a Christian because, he, and he even said he he said he said that when he became a Christian, he thought everyone thought he was going to become a pussy or whatever. But no, 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 no. He's still on there, and he's still like bashing uh, whatever he feels like bashing. But still, I mean, 
it doesn't mean just because Metallica doesn't do that it doesn't mean they've lost their edge I mean metal if you think about it metal is about family and Metallica has the Metallica family they all love we all love each other in the Metallica family we wouldn't backstab one another or anything and that's how it is in metal you know metal in general I mean metal in general is family you know we are all outsiders who basically love and enjoy the same type of music as as you know everyone in the this metal community we share the passion for the music and we share the love for going to see the shows the, the bands uh, you know I mean it's just a, a family I, I don't know like I, I mean like I'm tired of the Megadeth like the ignorant Megadeth fans like again like not all Megadeth fans are like this but the ones the ignorant ones who like just don't do I mean they're just like oh yeah Metallica was good for like three albums and that was it no 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 if they were only good for three albums they wouldn't have gotten to where they are right now which is a which is bigger than Megadeth or anything. <clears throat> Some bands are not as famous as Metallica and Megadeth and Anthrax and Slayer because they stayed the same. Megadeth went and explored different... Countdown to Extinction is like their black album. Like seriously, like it's like, okay, yeah, some stuff is on that album is fast, but so is on the black album. Through the Never, uh, Struggle Within, you know, um, fucking, it's just, it's, some of that stuff is just fast, holier than thou. Um, like, and, and so is on the Countdown to Extinction, some of that stuff is fast, but it's mainly like, I mean, Symphony of Destruction is a great example. It's heavy, and it's like, it's just a simple beat on the drums. Boom, ba, doom, ba. It's that, with the simple riff, that, da -na, da -na. That it's as simple as you can get. It's like the Black Album, but for Megadeth. So you can't. I mean, you can't just say that Megadeth never sold out because look at Risk and Euthanasia and the World Needs a Hero. Look at those. Have you forgotten about those albums? Like seriously. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get how how these ignorant Megadeth fans can just you know just say oh Metallica is garbage now. They're not. They've made some bad choices, I would agree. It doesn't mean they're garbage. Megadeth made some bad choices. Oh. I just I just don't I don't know. Plus the feud between Metallica and Megadeth is over. He, that's it's over. Like the feud is over. Dave Mustaine is, even said it was over. Like for he said it's been over for a while. You know. I, I just I mean, and then st people just still continue to fight about Metallica and Megadeth. Like, they just keep butting heads. Like, the feud is over, guys. Come on. Can't we enjoy the music now? Can't we enjoy... Can't we like Rust in Peace and Master Puppets at the same time? I mean... It's ridiculous. So... So stupid. It's just... It's so dumb. <sighs> yes, Metallica... Is are, they aren't what they used to be, okay? But, and the reason that James, I guess how people say lost his voice is because he blew it out on the on the cover of So What, doing it for the uh, I forgot what was it the B side for what single? For, it was, I know it was a single from the Black album, and it was the B side for one of them. But he blew his voice out doing So What, and he he realized. If he kept doing that, he probably would have he probably would have lost his voice, like l like for real, like literally lost his voice. Okay, so he went to go to a vocal coach. I mean, so what? Dave Mustaine is not the you know he's not the greatest singer in the world. I'd take James Hetfield over Dave Mustaine any day because D Dave Mustaine, if he's when he sings now, like recently. He sounds like he's gonna die. I mean, no, I mean, no offense, but like, he, it, like it sounds like it hurts him to sing. I mean, <sighs> so dumb. It's so ridiculous. Um, so to all you ignorant like Megadeth fans out there, like seriously, like appreciate the music. At least you you don't have to like Metallica, but at least appreciate what they did because without Metallica, 
there is there is no thrash metal, and I realized that with after, without Dave Mustaine, there's no thrash metal as well. And you can't even compare Dave Mustaine to James Hetfield. You can compare him to Kirk Hammett, yeah, because to me, Dave Mustaine, although he plays rhythm, he also plays lead. James Hetfield only plays lead for like, he only plays lead once in Master of Puppets, and that's the slow solo. And he plays lead in Nothing Else Matters, and that's also the, like a slow solo. I mean, and then like Kirk Hammett has done the rest of the solos throughout their career. So you can't even compare James to Dave. Because Dave half the time is soloing um, rather than playing rhythm. James is playing rhythm like 98% of the time. Dave Mustaine is playing rhythm 50% of the time. You can't compare the two. James is rhythm and, you know, Dave is a lead. Him and Chris Broderick switch. Kirk and James do not switch off that often. You, you can't, you just can't compare the two. You can compare Dave to Kirk, and I would take Dave over Kirk because, I mean, Kirk just uses too much wah, you know. Dave can still solo. He cannot sing, though. I, I, I won't give him that because I don't think he... While his voice is good on some songs for, his, like, you know, the old stuff Killing Is My Business through, like, maybe Countdown to Extinction, everything after that, he, I mean, his voice is gone. His voice is, is ruined. I mean... Yeah, this day we fight. His vocal, his vocals were good, just like on Head Crusher. Now, Endgame. I'll, I'll compare these two: Endgame and Death Magnetic. I take Death Magnetic over Endgame. You know why? Because Death Magnetic, to me, was more thrash than Endgame. With the exception of the Unforgiven Three, which it's not thrash at all. So take that take that out, and you have a completely thrash record, including the four unreleased songs. Those four songs are, in my opinion, better than, like, th this Death Magnetic is better than Endgame, in my opinion. Endgame has, This Day We Fight, Head Crusher, um, excuse me, um, I mean, 44 Minutes is not thrash, I mean, you know, it doesn't get fast at any point. Everything in Death Magnetic get, gets fast at some point, except for the Unforgiven 3. So, yeah, I, I mean, I take Death Magnetic. And then there comes their bad choice, Lulu, which everyone says that it's Metallica's fault. It's a Metallica record. No, it is not. It is a it's a collaboration with Lou Reed, and it wasn't their idea. Lou Reed suggested to them. And at first it started out as a joke, but, I mean, he came back and asked them about the album because Metallica originally was not going to do an album with Lou Reed. Um... So, it's more Lou Reed's fault than Metallica's fault. So, I don't know why people are just so pissed off at Metallica for making that record. Because it was Lou Reed's idea, and it was his... It was, like, his determination. He, he's determined to make a record with Metallica. I mean, it's not Metallica's fault. I mean, I'd, bl I'd put the blame on Lou Reed. But anyways, uh, straight off track. Anyways, Metallica or Megadeth? Both. You know why? Because both are great. Just Metallica is my band. My 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 band is Metallica. But this is in no way a biased opinion. Just because they're my favorite band does not mean I'm going to choose one or the other because both are awesome. Okay? So, yeah, no more feuding over Metallica or Megadeth because they're both fucking good, alright? See you guys later.